I love this feature. Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Bimbo Book Club. It's me, Teresa. As you can see, I have no makeup on today, but I've been pushing out videos left and right for the past week. And today's video is actually going to be a walkthrough for how to use pocket stars. So it's gonna be mostly a screen cap anyway, so I figured y'all wouldn't care that I didn't have any makeup on, right? Leave a comment down below Tell me, do you think I'm a catfish or not? <laughs> All right, so just to give a little bit of a background on Pocket Stars, it was created by Elle Brooke. She is an adult content creator from the UK. She's got a twin sister that's in on it too, but her platform gets to boast the phrase made by content creators for content creators. Since she herself is involved in the community, she has our best interests at heart, I believe. So that's kind of why I've been shifting onto Pocket Stars. I still have both, but sometimes I worry about the people that are in charge of OnlyFans because that's not what they intended their site to be for. So it just kind of gives me peace of mind to use Pocket Stars because that's literally what it was made for. Another thing is that since it is created with creators in mind, rather than competing against a percentage with everyone who has ever created an OnlyFans profile. They actually have different features and like incentives for you to use their platform. They have an ambassadorship program. They'll make you free graphics if you send them your photos for advertising. And I know like on Easter, they had this egg hunt game where subscribers were going to different profiles trying to find eggs. I don't know exactly how that worked because I didn't play it, but I got some messages about it and I had to opt in to be a part of this game. Which leads me to another thing that I love about Pocket Stars. You know, we always have these issues with social media that they might not allow nudity. So one great thing about Pocket Stars is the fact that they have an explore page, kind of like Instagram used to have. So if you go onto the explore page, you can filter by gender, by interests, by physical appearance. You can even choose. They also have a search bar right over here so that if we're ever kicked off of social media platforms, your favorite fans can still come and find you. Just like the other video, let's start with how to create a post. It's actually this pencil here in the middle. You start here with attachments and then you can create a pay-per-view post. I love this feature because on OnlyFans, it's only available if you have a free account, but it's super beneficial when people want to buy old pay-per-view content from you. So you don't have to have like a menu and message it to them. They can just scroll through and buy your content when they want to. And it just kind of eliminates the middleman, which is why I love this feature on Pocket Stars. They do kind of have it on OnlyFans, but you have to have a free account in order to access this feature for your profile. And then they have add a poll. So as you can see, some of these features are very similar to OnlyFans, just like they have the campaign button and they have a schedule post option. But if we go back up to the top, we've already covered the explore page. And here is where you can check your notifications. This is more for subscribers. This is going to be all of the posts that you have purchased will pop up in this area. I haven't purchased any videos on Pocket Stars, but I have on OnlyFans, which is why I can't show you that page over there. And then we go, here is the create a new post button again. Here's where you can see your scheduled posts. I don't have anything scheduled yet today, but I probably will use this feature later. And then you guessed it, the DMs. So this is where you can go to chat with your fans and then you can click on your profile and it'll pop down with this menu. You can click right here to go to your profile or you can see how much money you have pending. You can create a list. You can scroll through your fans. Well, QuickTime just decided to stop working. So I guess I'll just have to tell you about the rest of the features. Under settings is where you can go to create free trials, bundle subscriptions, and discounts for your profile. But that's basically everything that you need to know about Pocket Stars. It's not too hard. 
It's very similar. It has a lot of the same features as OnlyFans. My only issue with it is that obviously it's a newer site, so it still has a couple little bugs that you're gonna have to deal with. And I believe that they'll improve over time, especially if we get kicked off of OnlyFans, they're gonna have to take it seriously. I remember when they first launched and so many people tried to join on the same day that their servers crashed and like we couldn't even get onto the site. That is something that just kind of happens when you're working with a new company, but I am definitely trying to stay on Pocket Stars because I think that it has a promising future in case anything happens to us on OnlyFans. I love the explore feature. I love that they create custom graphics for you, but there are just a couple little things that I wish were easier. Like the DMs, I don't think are as easy as they are on OnlyFans. But other than that, they're pretty competitive with each other. So why don't you comment down below? Let me know, do you like OnlyFans or Pocket Stars better? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Once again, I'm Teresa from the Bimbo Book Club. Check out some of those videos too, and I'll see you in the next one.